Hello everybody, my name is Andrea Kölsch. I'm working at the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior in Rarofzell in Germany. And I want to tell you about MoveApps, a serverless no-code analysis platform for animal tracking data. And I would also like to invite you, the community of biologging and movement ecology, to test the system and to contribute to it. We probably all agree that biologging has become a big data science in the past years as volume and complexity of biologging data are continuously growing. Luckily, there are some databases around like MoveBank where movement and other biologging data can be standardized, saved and shared. Furthermore, there is a large variety of analysis methods and code presently developed to get some ecological insight out of these data. Much of this analysis code is shared as R packages in R, but as we are aware, aware that work with uh, R is not easy for everybody, so we have gone ahead and developed the MoveApps platform, which is meant to bring together people that are collecting tracking data and people that are analyzing them and developing code to analyze them together. It's working in a way that um, Developers are putting their analysis code into small apps that are submitted to move apps where they can then be uh, used by all move apps users and combined into workflows with which then biologging data can be analyzed. Move apps is part of the bigger MoveBank ecosystem, which has developed around the MoveBank database and is um, meant to manage, share and archive data and also, and this is partly uh, done by MoveApps, analyze uh, these data and also archive the methods in, for example, our workflow repository. MoveApps can be accessed on moveapps.org. The beta version has been launched in February this year and it is an open platform where anybody that registered can registers can log in and use it. We presently have 83 users and there are 33 apps on the platform that can be uh, used and, uh, and tested uh, if you like. Um, how are these apps developed? Um, we need three files. One file is an R script that can be locally developed and tested and it's actually the code for the analysis. Second, we need an app specification file that is uh, defining the parameters that have to go into, uh, into the method. Also give details on the license, on the name of the person they having developed it, on funding and some other things. And third, we need a documentation file that is describing in detail what the app is doing so that anybody that wants to use it can can read about it before. These three files have to go into a Git repository that uh, can then be accessed via move apps. There one has to initiate a new app and um, submit a first app version that will then be um, built into a Docker container app by us move apps administrators and becomes available to all move apps users. Uh, new versions of apps can be submitted if you want to uh, improve the apps, which is probably a good idea. Um, how are these apps then joined into workflows? First one has to um, initialize a workflow, select a data source, this can be MoveBank or you can uh, upload a CSV or an RDS file from a uh, cloud storage of yours. And once the data has been uh, fixed, you can click on this plus and add any number of, uh, of other apps to, to combine into a workflow. So one gets, for example, something like this migration mapper workflow where at first uh, moving data is uploaded, then outliers are removed. Here you see the settings window with which the user can um, change um, parameters to the app. Uh, third, one can, or I have thinned the tracking data to a certain resolution, filtered data to only 
includes spring, segment the data to only include uh, locations where the animals were moving fast, and uh, lastly, visualizing um, the tracks that come out of it. Uh, one can start the workflow run by clicking on start workflow, of course, and one can then afterwards access the output by this button, or one can schedule a workflow uh, so that it runs daily or weekly at a certain time, and one can select to uh, receive an email uh, after this uh, workflow run, where one can then um, click on a link and directly access uh, the output of this workflow. Presently under development, we also have a near real-time interaction with other websites that we are uh, implementing so that other websites can, like in an API, pull um, some results from workflows into their site. Workflows can be shared with other MoveApps users. We provide a, a suggestion for a, a citation for apps that uh, can be included into papers where this app is used a lot. And what I find revolutionary, we allow to publish workflows. So uh, one has to provide some metadata, save, click on Save and Publish, and then a message will be sent to our uh, library at the University of Constance, which is then managing to uh, archive a workflow in our MoveBank workflow repository, and uh, one will get a DOI for it. However, we allow for that only if the workflow is related to a paper right now. The outcome of uh, the Migration Mapper app, as I've shown it to you before, is, uh, is a raster visualization where one can see that uh, the data set were greater work for Turkey in spring, migrating through Germany, Poland, and then along the coast up to the Arctic, whereas some other individuals are taking rather a detour. Another example of a workflow is the morning report workflow, which contains only two apps, the MoveBank app and the morning report app. Um, the morning report app gives you um, a shiny user interface where at first you get a table of the data. We usually use the morning report um, for studies that are running uh, at the time of, uh, of, of running the workflow so that one can have a look how the tags in the field are doing, how are the animals doing that are are, are carrying these tags. So one gets information, for example, for each animal of the last timestamp when data was sent, the number of locations that were collected in the past 24 hours or seven days, how much the animals have moved in the time, and we have some kind of an event detection where there's an indication what it was doing. Um, furthermore, one can select single animals and then uh, look into the attribute data of the of the tracking data set so for example at the altitude through time and one can look into an interactive map and look really at the locations so move apps has been developed for all members of the biologging and movement ecology community to contribute and we kindly ask you to do so app development and use has been has set up in a way to be independent from the infrastructure so that anybody that's using move apps does not have to care about the, the background hardware. We have a thorough documentation and tutorials and clear move apps terms that state that the responsibility for any um, anything that comes out of workflows lies with the users. We very strongly support open science, so all apps have to be open on a Git repository. One has to select among six open software licenses for apps, and like that, um, workflows, apps, and analysis methods become reproducible and recognized by DOIs. So please join us, go to the Move Apps beta um, platform, register, Give feedback. Here's the, the support email if you want to reach me. And just some additional details of what move apps can be good for. It can also be good to stay up to date with the
kind of growing list of analysis methods that are de under development. And once um, MoveApps is growing, we can um, profit from the fact that it is a serverless cloud computing system and it can be scaled up to the needs of our community. So we could possibly involve commercial partners for improved performance and scaling in the in the future. Right now, MoveApps is running on our Max Planck servers. Um, we will see for how long that is still possible. And last, I want to emphasize that by our efforts, science or movement ecology science has been made reproducible and open in all steps. So we have open source articles, open source archive data, and now also open source archive workflows and code. And with this, I want to thank all my uh, collaborators. I want to thank the Baden-Württemberg Ministry and the Knoblauch Family Foundation for funding. And I want to, um, last but not least at all, thank uh, the Couchbits company that are behind the, the software development of the platform. And I want to thank you for your attention and I'm available for all future questions.